Hello, my name is Hannah Nolan. I'm the Expedition and Community Outreach Specialist for the Schmidt Ocean Institute. And in this video, we're gonna learn about how to apply for our Birth of Opportunity and Artists at Sea programs. In the first half of this video, we'll learn about the Birth of Opportunity program, um, what it is, what it entails, how to apply. And in the second half, we'll be learning about Artists at Sea. So um, there will be a point in time that you can skip to if you are more interested in that program than the Birth of Opportunity. So again, just name of this presentation, How to Apply for Ship Time, um, Births of Opportunity, and Artist at Sea. So first and foremost, Birth of Opportunity. With our largest vessel, RV Falcor 2, we have more births, and this means we have the capacity to give more people an avenue to participate in expeditions at sea. So we are broadening our births of opportunity. In keeping with our primary focus on science and exploration, we will continue to have a strong student opportunity component, but we will also expand this um, for broader community inclusion. So the goal of the Birth of Opportunity program is to create regional opportunities for those who would normally not be able to participate in the research and have a chance to go um, on an expedition. The program aims to provide experiences for community leaders who can then bring that training and knowledge back to others in the region. This includes important community members of the geographic region that Falcor 2 is working in, who have connections to the ocean, but lack the opportunity or experience to learn more about deeper ecosystems. We welcome um, in the Birth of Opportunity students, community leaders, cultural practitioners, storytellers, marine park managers, policymakers, local government officials, or any other regionally based persons who would benefit benefit from the experience. So how to apply for this program? Um, we are now considering births of opportunity for the 2023 expeditions. These will be selected based on regional consideration, community reach, and capacity for knowledge transfer. The map of where Falcor 2 will be working in for the next two 10 years is also available on our website as well as on this slide. Participants will play an active role in the research expedition, not only participating in the science, but also in the outreach program as well. This may include language translation, live dive narration, conducting ship to shore connections, community presentations, and writing blogs while on expedition. So if you are interested in the Birth of Opportunity um, program, uh, for our 2023 year, please submit a one-page proposal to our program. The proposal should describe how a participant in the expedition will aid them in uh, personal development and progress in their career or community involvement. Alternatively, you can describe how the expedition will benefit from your expertise and knowledge. Descriptions of groups um, that you plan to connect with during the expedition should also be included in this one page proposal and details on where to submit the proposal will be on our web so, um, website uh, in the near future. Um, just to like wrap this up a bit, historically and continuing into present day, women along with racial and ethnic minority groups have had to break down barriers to maintain careers and be recognized in ocean sciences. And while we have come a long way, members who identify with these groups are still fighting for inclusion and equal opportunities. We hope this expansion um, in the Birth of Opportunity will help to address this. Okay, so that is our Birth of Opportunity program. We are now moving on to Artists at Sea. So like scientists, artists conceptualize and put together ideas in new ways, creating cross-fertilization of disciplines. Artists and scientists both have the ability to offer a deeper understanding of our ocean. Artists are important storytellers that help people to see the ocean in new perspectives. Applying these talents to ocean science can create a new space for dialogue and understanding. Using Research Vessel Falcor 2 as a platform of connection and interdisciplinary reach, our expeditions offer a range of unique technology-based ocean research that lends to artistic exploration. 
The program is tied to SOI's strategic framework with the goal of exciting interest in the world's ocean, as well as fostering understanding and public engagement through novel experiences of art. It has also merged the arts, artist community, and public into the ocean space in a new way. We believe that by providing a platform where experts from different disciplines are brought together, cross-pollination of ideas will transform both the scientists and the artists' work. The artist program has been running since 2015 and has welcomed 43 artists from 10 different countries, producing 161 pieces of art as a part of our collection. We have showcased the work in 20 different exhibits in 16 different cities, including the Ciencia Viva Museum in Lisbon, Explorers Club in New York, and the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. The artists also participate in remote connections, sharing their experiences, and have reached more than 100 groups and 10,000 people as a part of our Ship to Shore program. The program accepts artists of all kinds, and we've welcomed illustrators, cartoonists, fabric artists, sculptors, musicians, among many others. We are looking for ways to connect to all arts, including fashion. Our images can be used by artists in many ways, and we were even put, um, featured in a Faden Ocean Art Coffee Table book last year entitled Ocean. Our current vessel, Falcor 2, and previous vessel Falcor were living platforms for the artist's work who participated in the program. Seen in the middle is the commemorative piece, Spirit of Falcor, completed by Artists at Sea participants Robert Stackhouse and Carol Mickett during Falcor's final transit that is now prominently displayed on Falcor 2. And on the far right is our 4,500 meter underwater submersible Sebastian, which has several panels that have been painted by artists. Even our crew has been known to participate and learn from the artists who sail aboard. The Artists at Sea program has also welcomed remote artists who cannot sail on the vessel, but want to work with or are inspired by the imagery captured during our live streamed dives. A few examples are from our most recent artist, Taiji Terazaki, who has created several pieces that have been exhibited at the Port of Seattle and the Ciencia Viva in Portugal. Our artist alumni have gone on to work together on projects and have participated in several of the Artists at Sea exhibits that we have hosted. Their work and projects are featured across our social media on hashtag Science Art Fridays. When we exhibit the work, our goal is to link it to other events to draw more people, such as the Explorers Club Showcase during the BB&J negotiations in New York last year, or at the Ciencia Viva in Portugal during the UN Ocean Conference. Many of our artists at sea participants have gone on to exclusively focus on ocean work, or create their own exhibits and collections around their experiences. One example is the recent Half-Light exhibit put on by artists uh, Ellie Hannon and Connor Ashley, at, um, which is a collection of paintings, short films, and ceramics that was shown at the Maitland Regional Art Gallery in uh, New South Wales, Australia. The exhibit was based on their time on RV Falcor during the 2021 Australian Mesophotic Coral Examination Expedition. Or, the recently installed Blue Dreams immersive installation um, by previous artists at sea, Rebecca Renstein, currently displayed at the National Academy of Sciences. We encourage artists from the regions we are working in because working with regional artists allows for broader connection with the communities in the areas where Falcor II is conducting science. We also believe it provides a richer cultural context and makes the research more approachable to local audiences, as well as brings new art forms to an international audience. As our program matures and expands with our new vessel Falcor 2, SOI will take a regional approach bringing artists at sea participants from the area Falcor 2 will be working in. Artists from the regional areas we will be visiting over the next 10 years are invited to submit a one-page proposal to our program. Details on where to submit the proposal will be made available on the website soon. We will be bringing artists on board beginning um, during the middle of this year. Artists interested in applying to the Artists at Sea program should include the following in their one-page submission. A description of their approach and body of work, connection to the region where the ship is operating, reach to the community, 
how and how participating in an expedition will enhance their work. Artists are expected to provide deliverables during the expedition, um, which and do commit to providing the following, which is active participation in the research and with the science party during their time on board Falkor II, a donation of at least one piece of work to the Artists at Sea collection that will be exhibited globally to the public at no cost, sharing and promotion of their experience aboard through community, community engagement like social media, community presentations, continuation of their work inspired by the research, etc participation in at least one ship to shore connection program during their time on board with one regional group of their choosing, writing of one to two blogs chronicling their time aboard and take away from the participation, as well as on camera interviews and participation in the storytelling of the expedition. And with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, looking forward to your questions in the session that's upcoming. Uh, and I hope you learned something. Thank you all.